Our next guest is helping spark a love of science for underserved Chicago students with the help of a robot. Please welcome Shannon Schuyler and Cody. Hi, Shannon. Hello. Hi, Shannon. How are you? Hi, Cody. Hi, Cody. Hi, guys. <laughs> are you happy to be here today? Oh, most certainly. I love it here. It's so great. Ah, look, he's he likes the cold. Here. He likes the cold weather, so yeah. it's good for his circuits. So, I yeah. got to imagine when Cody walks into any room, he kind of steals the show. To tell us what the mission is with Cody. Well, Cody certainly does. So one of the reasons that we have Cody is, like you said, steals the show. And so when he gets into a classroom and students see him, suddenly that excitement about technology and what I could do, because technology is about robots and drones mm -hmm. and virtual mm -hmm. reality. And when you think about how many students, especially those in underserved communities, just don't know about those jobs and careers that are out there. Right. Cody is one of those amazing things that can help teachers get people excited. How, how old is Cody? <laughs> Cody, how old are you just about? Um, so I'm about two. Oh, you're two. Wow, wow. Well, you're the tallest two-year-old <laughs> I've ever seen. Very sophisticated two-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> well, in, in robot years, I'm 16. So. <laughs> Got it. I love that. Cody, what's, what's the best part about your job helping kids? Oh my goodness, these kids in all the cities I've been, New York, LA, Chicago, soon Boston and Detroit, all these kids have come up with some amazing ideas and they're just so intelligent. It's so great to hear their ideas. One of the things that the kids do is we have them look at their own school and their own lives and say, if you could use technology and if you could use a robot to change those things, yeah. what would you do? And they've nice. come up with different ways to collect trash and they've come up with different ways that they can open doors so students that are disabled can get through without having to open a door. I mean, amazing yeah. things to kind of unlock their potential. Shannon, when you see the kids react to Cody, what does that do for you? You know, it's it's been phenomenal. We are now three years into a $320 million project, Access Your Potential with PwC. And so we're committed to doing this. And I think when you look at uh, over a million jobs that are open and, and the technology industry being only 26% women and 3% right. African American and 1% Hispanic, having these kids realize that this is their future. Mm -hmm. And by looking at Cody and getting excited, they have great potential to really be successful, whatever that success yeah. looks like. Now, I watch a lot of futuristic movies. Uh, okay. And sometimes <laughs> the robots in the futuristic movies are not very kind to humans. But I know. We don't have to worry about about this with Cody, right? We don't. So the nice thing about Cody is Cody is very nice to humans and especially nice to students and can do fun things like Cody can dance, kind of. <laughs> oh, kind he can of. dance? Oh, look at the hearts in his eyes. Oh, look at the hearts in the eyes. He can sing, kind of. He can dance, kind of, can sing, kind of. Why don't I sing a happy birthday song to Chicago? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. That's a good idea. We just had a birthday. That's I right. know. Happy birthday to you. Very cha cha cha. Happy yeah. Oh, my six-year-old would love that. <laughs> cha cha cha. Because I, I have kids. I know. I know how to sing the Happy Birthday song. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cody. But when a student can come in and actually interact, this mm -hmm. isn't just a robot that is there and stands there. This is a robot that can talk to a student and to say, right. you know, I like what you're wearing. And gosh, do you want to do this? And what do you see a robot sure. in your life? What it can do? What's the goal here? To have Cody's in all the classrooms the across goal? the country? The goal is to have Cody be one of those things that can inspire students. And so we're looking at actually adding some siblings for Cody, oh. as well as having Cody's luggage that can be delivered throughout the country and have fun things in it. Other robots that Cody might use or drones or virtual reality or other things to get students to play. Yeah, because Cody, when you can oh. play with it. It's more fun. Cody, what do you think about getting a new sibling? I'm so excited. I get to actually be with somebody of my own. Like, I can actually communicate with them. It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't have to worry about losing our jobs as TV hosts, do we, with robots? Absolutely not. The, the thing to really know is that you need robots to do blended learning. And so we want to help teachers. One of the things that we realized mm. is so many teachers don't know that much about technology, and yet they're being asked to teach it. Mm. So Cody is really a tool to help teachers and to support them. It's not to replace. It's really to aid because we need Cody, but we also need the humanity that really needs to come with technology to make sure that really it truly can be successful. Right, yeah. because that is one concern, I think, with Absolutely. people in the future, right? That robots mm -hmm. are going to take all of jobs. our jobs. Yes. Cody is not going to take a job. What he's going to do is he's going to help us understand how we can do things differently and hopefully stretch our imagination and the imagination of students to figure out what is possible in mm -hmm. their future and help teachers to really get students inspired because it's hard to not really want to take your lesson when Cody shows up in your room. <laughs> yeah, Cody might be a distraction, but you have a free online uh, session for teachers who want to learn more about tech. We absolutely do. One of the things that we realize is because teachers need to learn more, we at PwC are upscaling all of our people. Well, with
with doing that, we created an app, a digital fitness app, to help people understand where they were. So what we've done is we've released that free to teachers. So all That's teachers good. have the ability to use that online. We've customized modules just for teachers so they can understand because we believe all of us have to learn more. This is all new. This technology is new. I would the love for Cody to, to go to my kid's school. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so Let cool. Let me know. <laughs> I mean, you want to go? I know, he'll go. <laughs> well, let's get in the car. Let's go, Cody. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get in the car and let's go. <laughs> I, Cody, I hear you can give high fives too. You give high fives? Almost oh, certainly. Oh, let's see it. High five? Let's do it. High five. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Yeah. What do you think of all this? What do you think about being on TV in front of all these, uh, all these lovely people? Oh, it's so much fun. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Look at Cody, it. You, I've noticed this is the second time I've seen you get heart eyes. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I actually have to stay single, but I still flirt sometimes. Oh, okay, <laughs> good answer, Cody. Oh, that's not a part of the script. That was <laughs> Ronnie. He's totally on his own now. <laughs> gotcha. Cody, thank you so much. Shannon, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, and for more information uh, for all of this, go to pwc.com. We'll be right back, everybody. Bye, Cody. High five, Cody. High five. High five.